Hey there guys and welcome to my next let's play. Um basically my uh hopeful let's players um such as Freelancer and Final Fantasy Freelancer. Uh the game died on us, I'm gonna have to restart it. Uh like reinstall it and everything, so that might be a while. And Final Fantasy Eleven's been uh put on hold for a little bit just because uh, my Xbox has been buggy when it comes to connecting to the internet so until I can get that fixed might not be any of that but anyway uh, the next game I'll be let's playing is du -du 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 -du. and everyone should have guessed it off that it's of course Legacy of Cain this Legacy of Cain is Legacy of Cain Defiance. My personal favourite in the series. And also the first game that I did play for the Legacy of Cain series. Oh well, anyway, let's get underway. I love that loading screen. Making amazing wallpaper for a uh, desktop. Anyway, I digress. The FMV is coming up, so I'll just uh, stay shut up for the FMV just so I don't spoil it for you all so shooting up now given the choice given the choice whether to rule a corrupt and failing empire or to challenge the fates for another throw a better throw against one's destiny what was a king to do Does one ever truly have a choice? One can only match, move by move, the machinations of fate, and thus defy the tyrannous stars. What an amazing start to a game. Basically clips of all the previous games up until now. And the opening music. Just... Ah, just amazing. End of. <laughs> So I returned to the sanctuary of my enemy. So for anyone who hasn't played these games before, this character is Kian, one of the two playable characters throughout the series. And of course, he is a vampire. He is what probably vampires should have stayed, but now they have all become twinkly little emo boys. Who hate to go out in the sunlight for they will sparkle like little diamonds and pussies. The time, a streamer, deceiver and eternal gamester. Not to sound offensive, but I really, really hate the way they've made vampires look these days. It was time for Mobius to answer a few questions. I hoped for his sake to find... Right, and this is the camera view. Just swiggle about a bit. And now we are going to get on to the first level of the game. Basically, Kane has a need for thirst. Uh, being a vampire, obviously, he has to feed. So when you fight and kill enemies um, when you get a big blood splatter off them like that 
you can either stab them with the reaver blade which charges up the reaver blade or you can feed on them to regain health such as this he can feed either by biting or by pulling blood from the enemy at a distance either way works fine and once I've just got up here you can jump and if you hold the X button again he will glide mid, mid jump He's quite, he can jump quite high but then again he is a vampire See, there's his glide. It's quite a fast drop and glide, really. Um, doesn't last too long. Right, and these walls, because they're cracked, you can climb up them, just like this. And, of course, not even gates can stop Cain. He mist forms right through them. Oh, it's dinner. Help me, help me. Shut up, woman, I'm going to eat you. Oh, please, no. From time to time, it is necessary to feed. And the unusual event of a feast prepared by the Seraphan must... So I say that nom 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 took in. Right. Yeah, there's lots of free people to eat on this, to be honest with you. Um, not too difficult at all, really. And you're phasing through here, there's another person, so we'll just ignore that. And then, if we run up these stairs, we will end up into another set of cells with more people, both on the walls and in the cells. I don't know why that guy's on the, on the wall for, but, nah, never mind. I really don't care. And through here is a health rune. Health runes, uh, once collected enough of, will increase your health bar um, throughout the game. Obviously that's quite handy, it makes the game a lot easier. There's also TK runes, which I will be finding one of uh, in the nearby future, I'm sure. Right, so break through the wall. And throw this guy into a spike with telekinetic powers. Lovely jubbly, just what I like to hear. A touch of water is like acid to a vampire. I had to find another way. Alright. So to pass, you jump glide straight across. Fall, you will die. Water is deadly. Alright, so just climb up this wall and then jump kick over and then straight up this wall. Now the bridge that's next to me. Uh, holds the first of the TK runes, which is there. This will increase my telekinetic power bar, allowing me to perform more telekinetic abilities before it runs out. Nom nom nom, best eat you because I am needing a recharge. I'll leave you for now, never know when I might need you. This passage undoubtedly led to the time streamer. My prey was nearly in my grasp. But the door had been sealed by a blessing. Sucks to be you, doesn't it, Ken? Yes, it does. The reaver resonated in response. Perhaps its dark sorcery could dispel these holy barriers. As I suspected, the reaver was not yet powerful enough to shatter these barriers. And we will find out how to get rid of those barriers in a bit. And if you think it's the Reaver, you'd be right. Time to sneaky sneaky. Oh dear, you've put up a gate that I can just walk through. Shock horror. Right, let's get rid of these the easy way. Pick them up with TK blasts and just throw them off the edge. Right, come on, ah bloody hell. Right, come here you and get off. There we go. They're all dead, but that's it for this episode, because I'm going to keep it at 10 minute mark just for upload reasons. So thank you all very much for watching, and I shall see you all in the next video. This is DCX signing off. Thank you very much for watching.